millions of people are at the risk of life-threatening diseases from increasing air pollution. The government of India has mandated a rollout Bharat Stage 6 emission norms from April 2020 to reduce the harmful exhaust smoke produced by automobiles. Ashok Leland's new range of BS6 vehicles powered with iGen 6 technology are designed to deliver better performance, best-in-class driver comfort and are less harmful to the environment. The exhaust after treatment system or EATS of the vehicles has a diesel particulate filter also known as DPF and an SCR system which reduces the harmful gases in the exhaust smoke and brings them down to the desired levels before they are released into the environment. In due course of running, particulate matter or soot gets deposited in the DPF and it is required to clean the DPF by burning deposited soot. This process is called regeneration. Soot in the DPF is burnt automatically with the heat from the engine. You may notice that a HEST warning lamp starts glowing. The HEST warning light is an indication that exhaust gas temperature in EATS has increased and regeneration is happening in the DPF. You must make sure there are no people, vehicles, animals or combustible materials within 2 meters from the exhaust pipe. If not, turn the region inhibit switch on. A region inhibit light will glow and the HEST lamp will go off. This means the regeneration process has been stopped. Remember to switch it off only when the surrounding conditions are favorable. In light duty cycle applications like city driving and short route operations, the heat from the engine may not be sufficient for burning the suit in the DPF. This will lead to choking of DPF filter which is indicated by glowing of DPF lamp on the instrument cluster. Similarly, if region inhibit switch is turned on frequently and regeneration is not allowed to complete, DPF will get choked and DPF lamp will start glowing continuously. In such a scenario, driver should carry out park regeneration. Before proceeding for park regeneration, if possible, take the vehicle on the highway, drive it between 1800 and 2000 RPM in top gear or one gear lower for 30 to 45 minutes. Ensure the region inhibit switch is turned off. Once the temperature is sufficient for regeneration, the HEST lamp will glow and the regeneration will start. If HEST lamp does not glow within 15 minutes, then proceed for park regeneration. If timely regeneration is not done, the suit deposition on DPF will increase to higher levels. The DPF lamp will start blinking. This will result in a drop in pickup of the vehicle. In such a situation also, the driver needs to perform park regeneration. During park regeneration, be aware of your surroundings and do not leave the vehicle unattended to prevent any person or animal from coming close to the exhaust pipe. Park the vehicle in a ventilated area away from other vehicles with a minimum 2 meter clear space from the exhaust tailpipe facing side. Ensure that the exhaust smoke does not come in contact with dry grass, rags, debris, oil or any flammable material. Ensure that fire extinguisher is easily accessible and be aware of using it in case of emergency. Place wheel choke at front and rear of the wheel. Verify hood front panel is closed and latched. Ensure the gear is in neutral position. Turn the AC off if applicable. Apply parking brake. Ensure PTO is switched off. Start the engine. Ensure engine is warmed up. Press and hold the park regeneration switch start for 3 seconds to start the regeneration process. Engine RPM will raise to 2000 RPM. If all the steps are followed, the HEST lamp will glow and the LCD screen will display standstill regeneration switch on and standstill DPF regeneration active through switch. This means that DPF cleaning has started. While this is in process, do not press clutch, brake, accelerator pedal or any other switch on the dashboard else regeneration process will stop. Allow the regeneration to complete. Once the deposited suit on the filter is burned and the filter is cleaned, the engine RPM will go back to idling RPM. 
DPF lamp and HEST lamp will stop glowing, indicating that parked regeneration is complete. In case of emergency, press regeneration inhibit switch to stop the regeneration process. If the blinking of DPF lamp is ignored and timely park regeneration is not carried out, the suit will keep on depositing in the DPF and it will get choked completely. DPF warning lamp will stop blinking and MIL lamp along with red stop lamp will start glowing. You will notice a further drop in pickup and the engine RPM will drop to 1300 RPM automatically. DPF cleaning by parked regeneration is not possible at this stage. The driver should park the vehicle immediately and contact the nearest Ashok Leyland Authorized Service Center. After switching off the region inhibit switch, if the HEST lamp does not stop glowing in some time, stop the vehicle and contact your nearest Ashok Leyland Authorized Service Center. Or if the region inhibit light is glowing without turning on the region inhibit switch, stop the vehicle and contact your nearest Ashok Leyland Authorized Service Center. It is important to use recommended diesel exhaust fluid and BS6 diesel for better life of EATS. You can also refer to the warning lamp action sticker for understanding various telltales and their functioning and recommended action to be taken. Regeneration is necessary for all BS6 vehicles and therefore Ashok Leyland has designed EATS in such a way that all controls are very simple for drivers to follow and they enjoy a hassle-free and comfortable driving experience.